Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Friday in the fifth week of Ordinary Time. And today we celebrate the life of Saint Scholastica. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Mark chapter 7, verses 31 to 37. Returning from the district of Tyre, Jesus went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee, right through the Decapolis region. And they brought him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech. And they asked him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd, put his fingers into the man's ears and touched his tongue with spittle. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and he said to him, Epiphata, that is, be opened. And his ears were opened and the ligament of his tongue was loosened and he spoke clearly. And Jesus ordered them to tell no one about it. But the more he insisted, the more widely they published it. Their admiration was unbounded. He has done all things well, they said. He makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned at the beginning, Today we celebrate the life of Saint Scholastica. We don't know too much, so this is going to be very brief. But Scholastica, Scholastica was born in Nursia in about the year 480. She was the twin sister of Saint Benedict. She was dedicated to God from an early age and followed her brother to Casino where she died in about the year 547. So today we ask, Saint Scholastica, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till then, take care. God bless. Thanks, everyone.